Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to be practicing our scientific skills um, by doing a virtual experiment on the gizmo. That's why I had you sign up for your gizmo um, earlier this week. Um, before we even get started on the gizmo, we are going to open up this document that says Student Exploration Growing Plants. And the first thing that you're going to need to do is kind of just answer the first question um, about what you think using your prior knowledge. So the directions are you follow the instructions and you're going to go through the simulation and respond to the question and prompts in the orange boxes. Um, so there's a, a lot of vocabulary that you'll be using throughout this lesson, compost, fertilizer, mass, seed, soil and variable. Uh, you'll notice that they'll define it as you go through the lessons. Uh, if you struggle with reading, please use the Read Write app. And if you need to know how to add it, um, it should automatically be on your Chromebook. But I can walk you through it during um, extra help. Just email me and I can show you how to do that. Um, so the first question you're going to want to answer is, what do you think plants need to grow and stay healthy? Uh, we all have a lot of background knowledge that we bring with us into science, so um, it's whatever you think. Um, use the knowledge you have. Nothing is wrong in this question. It's what you think to get started. We all start at a different playing field when we begin learning, so um, just fill in whatever you think here. Then it gives you the directions of what you're supposed to do. It says in the gizmo, set up three pots however you like, choose a seed to drag into each pot, click on the light bulbs to turn them on or off, drag the water slider up or down to set the amount of water each plant will get. If you like, drag fertilizer or compost into a pot. When the pots are ready, click play and wait for the simulation to end. Try several different combinations, change the amount of water, the amount of light, or the amount of compost fertilizer, and then record what you notice. What does this make you wonder? Okay, so this is where you're going to go into the Gizmo account and you'll follow these instructions. So up here, this is hyperlinked to the sign-in. Don't go to where it says sign up free because it only lasts five minutes. This is the where you go into your account. You'll type in your username and your password. Um, your username should be your last name, first initial, and, if, and it possibly a number. And then your password is whatever you decided. If you forget what your username and password is, you can email me or when we have the Google Meets, I can I can let you know what it is then. Um, so mine's already saved in here, so I'm gonna go to log in. Click on um, growing plants. I just have more here because I save it. You're, you'll only have this in your in your menu. Okay, so you launch the gizmo, it's called Growing Plants. And this is a really cool because you can change the experiment to however you want. Um, you can change the amount of light. Make it um, like darker or lighter. You can change the amount of water by moving it up and down. Oops, 50. Um, you can also like add whatever kind of seed you want. Oops, I don't know why that can go in there. Oh, it did go in there, I'm oh, sorry. Um, let me just put that back from, um, you can also add fertilizer. or compost to it. So you can set up the experiment however you want. This is kind of play around to um, see what matters when um, growing seeds. So I think the experiment I would like to do 
is to see how to best grow a bean plant, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bean to each of my um, pots. And you can do whatever experiment you want on this one. And I think I would like to know if um, fertilizer or compost are best for this bean plant. So I'll put, oops, put fertilizer in this one and compost in this one. I'm going to leave this one to be my control where I don't add any fertilizer or compost. I'm going to leave all the water the same as a variable. I'm going to leave all the light the same. And I'm just going to see what happens as I hit play. Okay, so just looking and making a general observation, one thing I notice is, to me, it looks like plant A that didn't have either compost or fertilizer is smaller than the other two plants, um, but not by much. And... I think that's pretty much the only like physical observation I can look at. However, one thing I can also notice is it gives me the height of each plant and the mass. Um, so I can look at the height across the board, 48.3, 51.4, 52.3, and I can automatically um, notice that the height of this one is smaller and this one is the largest and the mass is 6.4, 6.8, 6.9. So this is the smaller of the plants and this is the largest of the plants. So those are a lot of things I would notice from this experiment, but it may make me wonder, okay, what if I add another variable or, or whatnot? So you'll go back to your um, gizmo and what do you notice? What do you wonder? And then you can go on. And then you're going to get into the main focus question of this lesson. Does the amount of water affect plant growth? That's your focus question. Okay. So your prediction hypothesis, do you think the amount of water will affect plant growth? Explain why or why not. So here's you're going to put your prediction right in here and just give reasonings why you think what you do. Um, I would think that water affects plant growth because I have a garden and during the summer we hardly had any rain. And if I didn't water it, my plants were starting to dry up. So I know water is definitely important, but I don't know how much water is important. So this would allow me to figure it out. So then it says to go and set up the gizmo. In the gizmo, set up the three pots like this. Pot A would have a bean seed, two lights on, zero milliliters of water. Pot B, bean seed, two lights on, 50 milliliters of water. Pot C, bean seed, two lights on, 100 milliliters of water. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the gizmo. I have to clear it. Okay, so now every, nope, I have to clear the pots. And I would have to set this up to zero. Oh, I forgot. 50 and 100, 50 and 100. And I have to drop a bean seed in each. And 
and it said only two lights. Okay, so I think it is all set. You're going to click play to start. When the simulation is done, observe the plants, record your observations in the last column of the data table appearance. Okay, so we're on day 50, and there is definitely a difference. So I would fill in this column, what I notice in um, pot A, what I notice in pot B, and what I notice in pot C into this appearance column, okay? Then it says collect data. Fill in the data table below with the height and mass of each plant on day 50. The mass of a plant is the amount of matter in the plant. It is related to how heavy it is. To locate the data, you need to record, select the data tab at the top of the gizmo page. Okay, so we can go here. You'll notice it's listed right here too, um, but they prefer you to go to this page. And it kind of shows you the plant height over various days um, in, in centimeters. And it has a graph here. It tells the conditions, bean, two lights, zero milliliters of water in soil. And this is a bar graph showing the plant height, plant height in bar graph. So I would make sure I put the different water in. So we had the zero, the 50, the 100. We would put in the different heights here, different mass here. Then graphing makes patterns in the data easier to see. In the boxes below, copy and paste an image of each bar graph representing your data. To do this, you go to the data tab, set the data to plant height, Click on show numbers below the graph. Click on the camera icon in the top right of the data. The camera will take a screenshot of the graph, copy the image URL, and paste the image using the URL. Repeat for plant mass. Okay, so I would go into here and I want plant height and bar graph. And obviously the plant mass is below. Go to this little camera here. You would click on it. Now, in order to um, get a copy, I could do Control C and Control V as a way to copy and paste it, or right click, copy image address. Go here. Go insert image by URL, paste it there, insert, okay? And then just to end this, we go back to responding to the focus question below using your observation and data as supporting evidence. Does the amount of water affect plant growth? And what I'd like you to do, I know you did this in um, fifth grade, a lot of this. This is your typical CER. Um, I just want to see what your writing looks like right now. Um, this is just for me to see where you're at with your writing. This assignment is, um, this is just kind of giving me a gauge of where you're at. Okay, um, 
So please do your best to respond to this. And that is that is the whole lesson for today. If you have any questions, I will be online um, during the Google Meets time. I also, if you email me, I can help you as well. Um, so good luck, and I hope you do well with it.